World Series Roundup, Rangers beat Diamondbacks to clinch first championship. For the first time in their 63-year history, the Rangers are World Series champions. It took a gem of a start from Nathan Ivaldi to outduel a similarly masterful outing from Diamondbacks starter Zach Gallen, who took a no-hitter into the seventh inning to secure his franchise's first title. Corey Seager joined Sandy Koufax, Bob Gibson, and Reggie Jackson as the only four players to win multiple World Series MVPs, adding to the one he picked up with the Dodgers in 2020. Mitch Garver drove in the contest's first run, his RBI single in the seventh a decisive blow before Texas secured some late insurance with a four-run ninth off Arizona closer Paul Sewell to end a thrilling series between two of the meteoric risers in the league. After the bullpen game the night before, it was nice to see both staff aces battle it out in an old-fashioned pitcher's duel. Ivaldi worked himself into a bit of a pickle in the first, issuing a pair of walks to Corbin Carroll and Christian Walker sandwiched around a pair of groundouts from Kettle Marte and Gabriel Moreno, but he got Tommy Pham to ground into a force out to end the early threat. He worked into and out of a similar jam in the third, presumptive NL Rookie of the Year Carroll leading off with a single, Marte drawing a walk and Moreno laying down a sack bunt to advance the pair to second and third with one out. However, Ivaldi struck out Walker swinging on a 96 mph heater and got Pham to ground out to again stand a pair. Perhaps the biggest moment of the World Series came in the fifth inning. Marte drew a one-out walk while Walker singled and Pham walked with two outs to load the bases for Lourdes Gurriel Jr., but Ivaldi got him to roll over a curveball to leave the bases juiced. Ivaldi stamped an exclamation mark on his outing, striking out a pair in the sixth to complete six scoreless with five strikeouts. It lowered his postseason ERA to 2.95 in six starts as he continued to reinforce his reputation as a big-game pitcher. Gallen meanwhile delivered the gutsiest performance of his big league career with his team season on the line. Between pinpoint fastball command and the Rangers' aggressiveness on said pitches early in the count, Gallen was able to breeze through the first four innings, needing 13 pitches in the first, seven in the second and third and eight in the fourth to do the job. Gallen lost some of that effectiveness in the middle innings, many more of his fastballs finding the heart of the plate, but he still gritted it out to face the minimum in both the fifth and sixth and all of a sudden we were paying a little closer attention to a pitcher two-thirds of the way to matching a feat achieved by only Don Larson in World Series history. Unfortunately for Gallen and the backs, his spotless run, and as it happens their season, came to an end in the seventh. Seeger led off with a single to break up the no-hitter promptly followed by a Carter double to put two in scoring position with no outs. Up stepped Garver to smack a single up the middle, plating Seeger for the contest's first run. Gallen managed to strike out Josh Young before Tori Lovello called on Kevin Jinkel to record the final two outs to strand both remaining runners and keep the deficit at one. Although he gave up the eventual winning run, Gallen can hold his head high having tossed 6.1 innings of one run ball with six strikeouts having ultimately been done in by a pair of missed locations. That's it for today's video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.